Well, hello, this is Cyrus. Um, thank you for subscribing, those that have subscribed. And I would like for those that have not yet subscribed to subscribe to this channel. I'll be taking you through a bit of virtual DJ mixing, bit matching, and the likes. So, I shared a video on how to map virtual DJ to get scratches, uh, cross fader, all that. Though a few had some challenges on how to do it, so I came up with an XML file with all the mappers contained. Now this XML file will be updated in a few times of which I will share it. So the one we have so far is this, which is version 1, mappers. Now this file, I want to take you through how to add it to virtual DJ. That means you will not need to set all those buttons personally you just have to add this file to virtual dj okay let's get started so first of all you will have to go to or let's first actually check out the virtual dj to see what is present so if you go to your virtual dj mm, configuration uh, if you scroll through this i had actually already added it so let me first delete it just to confirm so you go to my computer or this pc and then you go to documents where you'll find virtual dj now that is found in mappers so as you can see i already added this let me first delete that for learning purposes so these are supposed to be oh these are also some of the other keyboard mappers i was using so do not mind so when you go to virtual dj these are the few that you'll find for your case you'll have factory default and maybe custom mapping so these are the ones i have so far before adding the xml file i created so now to add that file you'll go to this folder once again location is this PC or my computer then you go to documents now that's where you find virtual DJ now in virtual DJ you also find a folder named mappers open that folder then go to the file that I've provided that XML file right click and copy that file or you can just drag and drop that file and paste it there so after pasting it there you can reopen the virtual dj so on opening virtual dj if you have to go back to the mappers you'll find it included so click on that and save so after saving you can confirm so we have a that is a scratch also another scratch back and forward scratch and the difference is the length of the scratch then you can test this out um, let's see nice song and use that so this is that is a 60 that's the 120 and that is the 240 so a few other mappers were added so you can test and see or you can just scroll through and see what has changed because some of them I also tend to forget and we have also the crossfader yeah crossfader was also added that is Control B to set it to the center and actually most of the changes that are in this XML were highlighted in the first tutorial so if you went through the first tutorial this should be a follow-up just to simplify the first tutorial and uh, that is pretty much that thank you for viewing please remember to subscribe thank you once again